Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. Some of you wonder how I come up with these crazy ideas. Well, the answer is pretty simple. I have my idea of Matron right here. So let me show you how it works. You spin these wheels like this, and you wait to see what happens. So first we're gonna check this wheel over here and see what it says. Better luck next time, guys. So moving on, let's see what we have. Bullets and molten aluminum. You win this round, iDubs. Stealing my Hawaiian t-shirts. All right guys, so it looks like today we are doing molten aluminum versus bullets. And I know I've kind of done this before already, but this time I think I'm going to shoot the bullet at the molten aluminum to see if it's bulletproof. Now I know it sounds weird, but here's my thinking that maybe the molten aluminum is so hot, the bullet will hit the molten aluminum and just melt on the inside because it's like a thousand degrees. Lead has a pretty low melting temperature, so maybe it'll just enter the container, melt on the inside, and it won't come out the back of the container. Also, Wix is sponsoring this video. I think I'm legally required to say that, so stay tuned. All right, so while we're waiting for the aluminum to melt, I'd like to take this time to thank Wix for sponsoring this video because I'm sure without them, this video wouldn't make any money because it's probably going to get demonetized within the first couple hours of me posting it. YouTube's just like that sometimes, so thank you, Wix. Anyway, if you haven't heard about Wix before, Wix is a free platform that allows you to build highly customizable, robust, and professional websites. You can use the advanced drag and drop tools to create a fantastic website quickly and efficiently. You can use Wix to build a website for almost any purpose. A website to build a business, share your projects, or to sell something cool that you make. Wix offers hundreds of templates, unlimited pages, and top grade hosting for free. Upgrade to one of the premium plans to get even more. I wanted a website where I could answer some questions, sell some merch, and post some extra content that couldn't quite make it into videos. So if you want to build your own website for any reason, go to wix.com slash go slash backyard to get started building your free Wix website today. For more features, upgrade to a yearly premium plan and get 15% off with my code BACKYARD15. Well, it looks like the aluminum has melted and the ballistic gel has solidified, so let's get a start on this bad idea. All right, so here's our ballistic gel. Now, the first test we're going to do is shoot it with the pellet gun and see how far the pellet goes into the ballistic gel. Then we're going to compare it to the test with the molten aluminum inside of the ballistic gel. All right, so that definitely went straight through on the high speed. Pretty much looked like it offered no resistance to the pellet. It's got a kind of cool little trail behind it. You see that? Yeah. So now what we're going to do is cut some uh, ballistic gel out of here and then pour molten aluminum into it and then shoot it with the pellet gun and see if the molten aluminum stops the pellet from coming out the back. <laughs> so this stuff is supposed to be like human flesh. So, <laughs> here. so I think when I pour the molten aluminum in here, it's going to like instantly start melting towards the bottom. So I pretty much have to pour it in here and run over there and then shoot it with the gun. So it's going to be pretty stressful. Hopefully I can even hit it. Oh man, so I'm gonna pour this in, then I'm gonna just run over and you know, like get to the gun and get to the high speed camera because it might not last very long. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! I'm gonna take another shot. Nice! Now this was awesome. This is exactly what I hoped would happen. The bullet would hit the molten aluminum and it would just shoot up into the air, like splatter way up into the air. Yeah, that was pretty intense. I had to do all that really fast. And you can see the bullet went, BB went in there and it did go through the molten aluminum just like that. It's hard to tell when the table's on fire. Yes. <laughs> Well, I would say that this result was inconclusive because that was kind of a small amount of aluminum and a small bullet. So I say that we scale this up bigger and better and see what kind of results we get then. So this is my friend BJ right here. He's going to be taking a shot on the molten aluminum today. What are we using to shoot the molten aluminum? SCAR 16S556. Check it out. Yeah, that's, that's a gold SCAR right there. <laughs> it's better than a gold SCAR. All right, so you think you can hit that target over there? I'm gonna try my damage. What do you think is gonna happen? You think molten aluminum bulletproof or no? I think it is bulletproof. You think so? I think so. I don't know. Remember the Terminator? He's made out of molten metal. Bullets were going right through him. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. No, probably alien, alien stuff too. We'll see. But we'll I think see. it is bulletproof. Well, see, well if, check this out, Graham. It's like red hot in here and ready to go. So we're just gonna pour it in here and I'm gonna run it down there and then we're gonna send it. Send it! Just for comparison, this is what we were shooting before versus what we're gonna be shooting the aluminum with now. So here's our ballistic gel. You got to keep it cold because it'll actually melt when it's hotter than like 90 degrees out and it's like 95 right now. 
so it'll slowly melt. So this is going to be the witness block behind it. So if it goes through the molten aluminum, we'll see the bullet impact on this block of ballistic gelatin. So while I was taking care of the molten aluminum, my friends were uh, helping in their own way. <laughs> you fit so many bullets in this baby. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm gonna do this, but basically like... Oh! Holy cow! All right, I'm gonna run this down here, let's go. Boom, right there, right in front of the ballistic jello. It's gonna go through here, we'll see what happens, all right? You go over there, I'm gonna get the high speed. Look at the <laughs> Hey, Everyone, you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. All right, secure cue. Dude, did you see that? Look at, watch out for the aluminum. Whoa! Look at there. There's the hit. Okay, so it did go in. But, did it come out? See if you can, let's see it inside of it. I mean, it looks like something hit it, but it could have just been the force of a bunch of molten goo hitting and just going through. Would Could be it, because there's no like cavitation. Usually with these, you see cavitation. Well, I guess we're gonna have to shoot again on the high speed then, I, I, I think we're gonna have to do another test. That was inconclusive. Very inconclusive. All right, I'm gonna run it down there. Get ready to fire it off. And the table's on fire! Do you have a fire extinguisher? Um, wait, I'll just, uh, we shot all the fire extinguishers. Yes, we shot all the fire extinguishers. We got a mess to clean up, holy crap. So, okay, look at this, this is awesome. You can see it. Whoa. So the bullet definitely went right through the ballistic gel. You can fit so much molten aluminum in this. Oh my <laughs> oh, God, so slimy. So slimy! So many bullets in this. <laughs> All right, so I think you nailed it perfectly right there, right where this glob is that is solidified aluminum. And it went through that hole and came out that side right there because you can see how that's peeled backwards like that. After we picked up all the aluminum, I noticed some of them had some pretty cool shapes from the aluminum melting down into the grass and spreading out between the roots. Get some pretty neat shapes. So is molten aluminum bulletproof? I'd say that is a no because, I mean, look at this. If I was wrong, I definitely thought the bullet would melt in the aluminum. It did not. So uh, maybe not the result that I wanted, but we definitely got a cool video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.